Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I feel like I'm shot out of a cannon today. I've done like two videos before this that I'm going to combine and put up. And I just have so much energy. I'm in a great mood. Um, usually I'm always in a good mood, but today I'm like super. I don't know. <laughs> I must have got a good night's sleep. So. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to pour on this canvas using resin and it is a 16, 12 by 16. I have a piece of cardboard shoved up its backside to give it some support because resin is heavy. And these cheaper canvases, even the good canvases, they tend to sag a little in the center. So I just stick that up there to give it a little more support. Now what I did was I decided to blend a couple of colors together to make my own custom color. I used Lorez Red Magic and Lorez gold digger and let me show you the bottom of those the red magic is a red with a purplish tint and the gold is just gold I combined them together and made like a pretty rose gold color so I'm going to use that I'm going to combine it with or also use Lorez Cambridge blue I'm going to use some white pearl by deco arts a metallic paint then i'm going to use i don't have the jar i just have a little bag of it i believe it's the maybe espresso it's a matte pigment by um Lorez. i feel like a lot of times i do this i see a lot of other people do this we always want to use just the the shiny colors but i feel like having a matte color mixed in really balances out the painting really nice and then i also on the side have some copper which is also by lorez it's just in a little tiny bag um what i do is when they get low really low in the bottle i just put them in the bag to save on some room so i have the copper to the side i'm not sure if i'm going to use it yet or not but that is my plan so far. And I'm also using Angel White Paste by Lorez. I'm going to do a white background and swirl some of this white pearl through the white. And then up the center, use the colors. So let's get started. I've already mixed up my resin. I mixed up 12 ounces to be safe. Probably didn't need that much, but I'm going to first off start by putting some, just a little bit of clear on the canvas just to help the colors along. I have two pairs of gloves on so I can easily change. There's a pencil mark or something on this canvas, but it's okay because it'll be covered. We have a bad storm rolling in, so you might hear some thunder. Remove my gloves. Start off fresh. Just gonna torch this really quick. Okay. 
Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put down some white. I'm just checking out this pearl white color I have. I think I might have to add just a little tiny bit more. I don't know if it's going to stand out or not, but I will soon enough find out. I'm also going to try to use my little silicone fingers I have here. So let me get this white down where I need it. And then I'm going to pour some of the white pearl over that and use my silicone fingers to kind of like blend it through it. We'll try that. So I found these little rubber things at Walmart. So I figured I'd put them on my fingers like so and do this with it. And then over this side also. Gives it a nice marbled effect. Hmm. Just adding a little bit more. And because these are silicone, it'll peel right off when they're dry. This is actually a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Okay. Get my little fingers off. You want to use gloves when you if you get something like this because they do have little holes on one side, so... You want to make sure that you're not getting it on your skin. All right, so here come the rest of the colors. Oh, look how pretty that color came out. That is gorgeous. That's the Red Magic and the Gold Digger. Cambridge Blue is next. Some of the brown, the matte color. You're going to see how nice it looks up against the shimmery colors. See how it just kind of evens it out so it's not all so shiny. I know Lorez has a lot, a lot, a lot of matte colors. I have the copper mixed up. For now, I'm going to 
maybe just a little tiny bit here and there. I'm not sure if I want to use it or not. Copper would look good going through the white too, actually, now that I think about it. So let me uh, move this around a little bit with the heat gun first before I go any further. Oh, I did want to put some white up in here a little tiny bit. I'll be surprised if my daughter runs in here screaming. <laughs> I'm just going to tilt it a little. To get some of it off of the uh, canvas. See what we could create. I think I want to put some of that gold or copper up through that white. It's very subtle, the uh, pearl going through it, but I want a little bit more out of it. So I'm just going to do that. And then just add some more colors where I think I need them. tiny bit more brown. And then some more white. Oh, 
already. nice and hot now I'm gonna tilt it and stop filming before I get electrocuted I was thinking about blowing it around but I don't want to get a muddy mess so I'm gonna tilt it Just trying to create some movement in the piece. I'm liking that. I am really, really liking that. Just looking around here and thinking I want to add just a couple of more white lines. That's all. And blow them out with the air the air conditioner. Holy jeez. <laughs> Be gone. This is softening them up. Like so. Just soften them up a bit. There we go. Nothing too crazy. 
Okay, so I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. Here is Connecticut today. Mother Nature is not happy. Now, I'm not aiming for a bunch of cells in this one. It's hard to see the pearl going through the white, but it is there. You'll notice it when it's dry. Mm -hmm. And, uh... This little thing right here poking through the canvas that is the cardboard that I will remove once you can see it up here too I'll remove that once this starts to thicken up a little bit so it doesn't cure like that but anyway that is my piece for that today I hope you guys are all having a great day if you like my video please subscribe click the like button click the bell all the products will be listed below in the description box and happy pouring.